I have this nice piece of walnut. So we're gonna make some charcuterie boards out of. It's got a lot of bug damage along the edge. And I don't want that in our charcuterie boards. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna mark it out. I'm gonna cut all the, all the sapwood actually off this piece and then recreate the natural edge, but down to the heartwood. So I'm gonna take it off here. And I'll use a jigsaw and I'll do a video. I'll show you how to, how to do it and how to recreate that edge. So it's still very pretty. Probably gonna cut off somewhere around there on the end because the angle and the little cracks. I don't want those in our security board either. And this one has a, a big void from the from where a branch came out, and we'll, we'll end up filling this with epoxy, and I'll, I'll, I'll do a video on that also so you can see it. Very simple. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and trim the, the sapwood off with the bug damage. For that, I'm gonna use my Festool Carvex. Uh, great, great jigsaw. Anyway, it'll take me a minute or two. sapwood, then when I recreated it, it looks really natural. which way I want to be the top or the bottom. So what I do is first off is I look at both sides of the piece of wood. Still have some bug damage on this side. Which I'll probably take a little more off just to get rid of that. But I think what I'll do is on this side is the edge. Is the, I'm gonna have this as the bottom. Now. And I'm going to use my Arbor Tech wheel. The Roby grinder. Fine grinder. Very important to have when you're using one of the Arbor Tech wheels. You have to have handle to hang on to, just for safety wise. When I'm making the natural edge, I, I always want to take the top edge off first to kind of get the edge started. <laughs> Thank you. 
sander and get rid of all the sand line or grind lines then you end up going down all the way through to 220 I do anyway to make it smooth but for now I'm gonna stop here because I'm only gonna use the bottom two pieces right now and then I'll pour the epoxy later and I'll make one out of this piece and I'll finish that <laughs> take all the sand lines out because they don't have sand lines in nature but some people like them so it's okay to do that too leave them in there but I'll go down to 220 with this when we're after we get the top and bottom sanded but it's nice to leave little bumps on the edge and not just make it like a straight up and down edge that just looks more organic and just adds a little beauty to it there was a few pieces of well, spots where bug damage was so I just went ahead and ground it out and you can do that when you're doing your edge because it doesn't matter because you're you're making the edge you're recreating the edge we're gonna make three different charcuterie boards out of it out of this piece two of them are gonna be 16 inches and the last one will be a little bigger and we'll end up doing the epoxy pour on the end of that on the end down there but I'll just, I'm just gonna mark them out right now first thing I want to do is get rid of the cracks I don't want to have any cracks in the butt. So 
Now what I'll do, I'll take it over to my chop saw and I'll cut those two pieces out. Well, I cut, I cut the piece into three pieces and this one, two of them, actually two of the pieces still have a square edge on one side now. So I'm gonna turn that into a, a natural or organic edge and I'll show you how I do that. And I start with a Arbor Tech cutting wheel. With a, a rosy grinder, very important. You have to have a handle so you don't get anywhere near that, that cutting wheel. And again, I start taking the edge off which side I want it to be the natural edge, this is going to be the bottom. So I round it towards this side. board that you just put a round edge on, you make indents it's for texture along the side. And it's pretty simple and it looks really nice when you're done. <laughs> inch DeWalt orbital sander I don't, I don't like to leave any sand marks or sanding lines because they don't really have that in nature and if you want to make a natural edge you want to be close to nature <laughs> nice edge now and nobody looking at it's ever going to say well that used to be square they're just going to say how beautiful it is when we're done and that's what your go what the goal is so i'll do the last one one where I cut all the sapwood off. I don't like this point on this one. So I'm gonna take it down a little more and just redo the edge a little bit on that before I do the other side. And once you have it already mostly done, it's pretty simple. Just to go back with the Arbor Tech grinding wheel and take it off.
go back with the 80 grit and redo that. Change it out. I mean, I really like, I like the way it flows better than with the big point. So now what I'll do is I'll turn it around and take the square edge. It's always better to make sure these are clamped down. And I'll just take the square edge and redo that. Clamp it and sand it down to 220. Go through all the grits. Get it really smooth. You can go higher than 220, but when you're putting an oil finish, these are charcuterie boards. So when you put an oil finish on them, 220 is plenty because you want something to oil to have something to grab onto. My amazing white. Now that the boards are sanded to 220, we saturate them in mineral oil and we will let them dry. And once they're dry, we'll hit them with 220 again and then it will be time for the walrus wax. Now it's time to apply the walrus wax as the final coat. Just remember, a little bit goes a long way. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to stay up to date on what we have next, please subscribe to our channel.